Jesus' life does conform to the hero pattern. It's a hero pattern with so many incidents. Raglan gave a score. He took actually the, the Oedipus story of all things as the basic uh, 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 model and then gave other heroes scores as to how many of the 22 points they had in their lives. Because Raglan's, it's Raglan's pattern that is the one that I used. His mother is, here's the hero of tradition from Raglan's The Hero. I'm getting this from the study of folklore, an early book that I edited. His mother is a royal virgin. His father is a king, often a near relative of his mother. But four, the circumstances of his conception are unusual. Five, he's also reputed to be the son of a god. Six, at birth an attempt is made often by his father to kill him. But seven, he's spirited away. And eight, reared by foster parents in a far country. Nine, we're told nothing of his childhood. But ten, on reaching manhood, he returns or goes to his future kingdom. And 11, after a victory over a king or a giant or a dragon, he marries a princess. And 12, 13, becomes king. 14, reigns uneventfully, but 15, prescribes laws. 16, later, he loses favor with his subjects. 17, is driven from the throne of the city. 18, he meets with a mysterious death. 19, often at the top of a hill. 20, his children, if any, do not succeed him. 21, his body is not buried, but nevertheless, 22, he has one or more holy sepulchers. So... Uh, Oedipus gets 22 points out of the 22, Theseus gets 20, Romulus 17, Hercules 17, Perseus 16, etc. I don't remember off the top how many Jesus got, but it was high. You were just an illustration. There are other similar savior figures in the same neighborhood at the same time in history. Mithras, Attis, Adonis, Osiris, Tammuz, and so forth. Uh, and uh, nobody thinks that these characters are anything but mythical. Uh, and their stories are so similar, most of them in fact having some kind of resurrection or another, um, sometimes even with celebrations after three days and so forth, that uh, it, it just seems like special pleading to uh, say, oh well in this one case it, it really happened. early church fathers understood this as a problem because they were already getting the same objections from pagans. They said, what you say about Jesus? We've been saying about the you know, Dionysus and Hercules all the time. What's the big deal? And they didn't believe in them either anymore. And so the uh, Christian apologists, the defenders of the faith would say, well, yeah, but this one is true. And uh, you see, Satan counterfeited it in advance because he knew this day would come. Boy, I tell you, that, that, that tells you two things right there, that even they didn't deny that these other Jesus-like characters were before Jesus, or they never would have resorted to something like that. Satan knew it would happen and counterfeited it in advance. In case you're wondering, uh, yes, this remains the explanation to this day. Fortunately for Christian leaders, they almost never have to offer it. I'm wondering if either one of you are familiar with um, Osiris or Mithras or Dionysus? I'm not. Hardly at all. <laughs> okay. I'm wondering if you've heard of Osiris or Mithra or Dionysus. Uh, I've heard of Dionysus. Uh, the other two I, I don't think I've heard of. And do you know anything about Dionysus? Uh, no, it sounds like an interesting Greek name, but no. Oh, was, he, was he a contemporary of, the, of Jesus or the early church? I'm wondering if you've heard any of those theories? or. Well, you know it's probably good that I haven't. I've never heard of any of those gods. Okay, but if you were... Um, 
<laughs> I've never heard of any of those pagan gods, no. <laughs> no, I haven't heard about it. Okay. Are you familiar with um, uh, Osiris or Mithra or Dionysus? I've heard about them, but I really haven't really, like, really got into it and re making research on what it was about. I really haven't. So, but I've heard about it. It's, it's been on the news a couple times, but I've never really paid attention to it. No. Is there anything that you, that you know or that you've gathered from those no, articles? I really, haven't, I really haven't paid attention to it. It's just it's all about Jesus, man. That's all you got to pay attention to, you know? <laughs>